very terrible situation, if that indeed is the case, because I'm sure uh, there were people, there were people up there in that, uh, there were people up there in that World Trade Center. Now we have lost again. Our transmitter is on top of the World Trade Center, so we apparently uh, have consequently lost contact with Dick Oliver. But we are on the on the phone with an eyewitness, uh, Rosa. Can you hear me? Is Rosa there? Hello? Rosa? Yes. Uh, this is Jim Ryan here in the studio. Hi. Uh, what is your last name, please? Cardona Rivera. Oh, Cardona. Rosa Cardona Rivera, tell us uh, what you saw and heard, if you would, please. Okay. I, um, I'm at 99 Hudson Street. I was standing outside, actually, at the side of the building smoking a cigarette. And I hear a plane, and I don't usually see planes in this area. Then all of a sudden, I saw it go right into the, to, uh, to the World Trade Center. To, you, the, to the building. So right you in. saw a plane crash, crash into the side of the World Trade Center. Yes, sir. And, and, uh, and I'm like on the 14th floor, so I was just like looking out, you know, because there's like a, a fire, some like fire staircase or something, you know, just like a little balcony. And I, I saw it go right into the building, and I was like, oh my God, you know. And I have, and it was a big plane. It wasn't, you know, a little plane, it was fairly big. How big can you tell us? Give us an idea. Oh, I don't know. I would say it's like a plane that I board on to go you know, to. Well. It, so this wasn't just a uh, a small Piper Cub or something that no. that uh, had gone the wrong way. And of course, no. we would uh, the weather. I take it where you are is just about picture perfect. Picture perfect. Yes, it's very clear outside. So there would be. Uh, the suspicion then that uh, anybody who uh, would drive a plane smack into the middle of the World Trade Center right would have done it on purpose. It, it, would it would seem that either that or they lost control, but I can't see something like that. I mean, it was like right into the building, so, you know, and it, it was coming low. In you know, because if I were to see a plane that was going high, and then all right, but this was coming low, it, very visible. Can you see the streets below the World Trade Center? No, I cannot because I'm uh, I'm on Hudson Street. You're on Hudson? Yeah, I'm on Hudson Street in Franklin. So uh, now you, know, you say I'm you were out there grabbing a smoke when it happened. Right. What right. What did the other people do when when well, they heard the noise? Well, there was nobody. I'm up on the 14th floor. Oh, you you were on the 14th floor. Yeah, I see. So I'm not street level. I was up on the 14th floor, and I was just like looking out, you know, looking out, you know, just watching the scenery, and and when I saw the plane. All right, uh, Rosa, thank you very much. Talking with eyewitness Rosa Cardona Rivera on the uh, 14th floor of a building very close to the World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan. And uh, uh, once again, Dick Oliver was on the scene down at uh, City Hall uh, reporting to us. However, our transmitter is located on top of the World Trade Center building, so that apparently caused our picture from that, uh, that remote to... Uh, to just uh, go out on us. But yeah. once again, uh, yes? I, I was just saying, I can imagine what the people there must be going through, given what happened there uh, a decade ago. Mm. Yes, Dave? Uh, well, a couple of things. Number one, if it indeed was a plane, the FAA or the control towers at mm. one of the three major airports should have record of what's in the area. Sometimes they do vector planes around the southern tip of Manhattan. We might want to get a hold of Nick Gregory, who's a certified mm -hmm. pilot and uh, again flies through the area pretty regularly. Number two, even though planes typically are not that close to these buildings, with uh, the possibility of anything from engine failure to hydraulic failure, you lose control of your ability to control uh, aircraft. You can see right now probably police uh, helicopters. helicopters hovering right around uh, the towers, uh, but again, mm. wind speeds at this point, not tremendous at all, uh, flying conditions near perfect. Conditions. perfect. And of course, they would have to, uh, under ordinary circumstances, have filed some sort of a flight plan. Mm. If, it, if it were a plane, that, uh, and it apparently, mm. according to uh, uh, the lady we spoke to, eyewitness just a few moments ago, she did uh, see a plane go in there. Now, uh, I'm told that, that it may be a twin-engine plane that simply smash, it, it looks mm. like it went head on, head, yes. smack into the World Trade Center uh, building. One could only expect, given the, uh, the weather conditions, mm. uh, given looking at that picture live right there, that it went smack inside the World Trade Center. And if that is the case, I'm afraid we've got a tragedy. Mm. 
on our hands. We've got something coming across the wire here, James, but actually it's nothing more than what you've already been reporting. Witnesses no. report hearing a huge explosion. Yeah, well, we're looking at yeah. There's no doubt there was a huge explosion mm -hmm. and fire. Lots of black smoke coming from that building. Black smoke, uh, again, would indicate that the fire is uh, mm. nowhere near under control. I expect they have sprinkler systems in there. Oh. Jim? Uh, one second, uh, Dave. I'm, I'm told we have a witness uh, named Jim on the phone. An eyewitness. Jim, are you there? Yes. Uh, Jim, what's your last name, Jim? Last name's Friedel. Uh, Jim, tell us what you saw, if you would. Well, I was looking out the window, and normally you'll see planes kind of flying low over the Hudson, but this is a large plane. It's something like a 727, and it was banking, and the only reason I kind of looked at it is because I thought it was rather low. Banking very hard, and then it just drove right through the World Trade Center tower. What's your vantage point there, there Jim? I am actually across the Hudson in Hoboken, uh, but I have a clear view right at the World Trade Towers. Now, it, it did seem to you that uh, it was done on purpose? You know, I don't know if I can say that, um, but it, it was, very, it was very, a very odd type of turn. Um, it was headed directly, directly at the building. So whether, whether that was on purpose or not, I, I can't tell. I don't know if he was trying to avoid or they were headed for it. Describe that turn for us. Was it particularly heavily banked? Uh, it, was, it was pretty heavily banked, um, maybe 45 degrees. I, it, again, hard to, hard to tell. It was kind of unremarkable because you do see planes fly through here. It, just, it was a large plane, like a 727. And uh, that's the only reason I kept looking, and then it went right into the building. I just thought it was going to follow the river and keep on going, but it didn't. Now, after the plane struck the building, from your vantage point, it apparently went directly inside. That's correct. And uh, if that's the case, uh, my goodness. Yeah, actually, as, as the impact occurred, uh, you could see debris flying out the other side. So it uh, apparently went right through the... Uh, we're, we're looking at a live picture of the, of the building right now, Jim, and uh, uh, what would you say that would be about the 90th floor or so? Uh, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I, again, I, I can't tell if it went right through, but certainly debris was shot out the other side of the building. Uh, did you hear anything uh, when, when, when it took place? Did you hear the crash? Uh, yes, w uh, I did. In, in terms of anything beforehand, though, no. I mean, I couldn't tell if, if the plane was in distress or anything like that, but uh, certainly when it hit, it, there was a large explosion, and again, you had smoke and debris coming out the other side as well. All right, Jim, thank you very much. I've uh, been talking to Jim Friedel, eyewitness who, uh, who uh, witnessed the, uh, the crash uh, from Hoboken. Thank you, Jim, very much for giving us uh, uh, what you saw and heard. Uh, again, uh, just a few minutes ago, uh, apparently a large plane, according to that vantage point from Hoboken, that uh, as you look at uh, the picture from our chopper now arriving at the scene, uh, Jim Friedel in Hoboken, uh, said it appeared to bank sharply and mm. smash directly, perhaps purposefully, into... Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, God. There's another <clears throat> one. Oh. oh, my goodness, there's another this one. This seems to be on purpose. Oh, my goodness. Another now you, plane? Now it's obvious, I think, that uh, th there's a second plane just crashed into the World Trade Center. I think we have a terrorist act of proportions that we cannot begin to imagine at this juncture. Oh, my God. My goodness. A second plane now has crashed into the other tower of the World Trade Center. <sighs> Obviously, a uh, suicide mm. uh, terrorist attack Absolutely. on the Look World the Trade Center. What we, have, what we have been right fearing... Chopper 5, anybody on? Mm. What we have been fearing uh, for the longest time here apparently has come to pass. A disastrous terrorist attack on the World Trade Center both towers, planes smashing into each one. I understand we've reestablished contact with Dick Oliver. Uh, uh, Dick uh, is on yes, the Jim. phone. Yeah, Dick. Jim, uh, uh, yes, just uh, moments ago, as you know, uh, another uh, vehicle or some kind of an aircraft crashed into the World Trade Center. This is uh, no accident. This is no bomb from inside. Uh, this is, as you put it, a terrorist attack. There's no two ways about it. Uh, Dick, uh, what vantage point are you at now? I was still at Park Row. People are streaming down, uh, heading uh, away from the World Trade Center. 
having heard the second blast, uh, people are running, some of them running now. Uh, emergency vehicles still heading towards the, uh, towards the uh, World Trade Center. Now thick black smoke. Uh, I don't know if you've got a picture. We're trying to take some uh, pictures here for you. Uh, black smoke coming out of the second explosion. The first explosion seems to have calmed down somewhat. Oh, my goodness. Yes, there's gray smoke coming out of there, meaning that the water is being put on it. People continue to stream past us uh, here on Park Row, as well as emergency vehicles. <laughs> My goodness, Ali, uh, if uh, I can only begin to mm. imagine the carnage that has taken place, uh, we see an ember mm. falling from the top of the mm. floor of the Empire State Building. It's, it's tough to look at, but let's look at it mm. once again. After a plane crashed into the side of the World Trade Center, then another one, as our cameras were focused on the building, crashed into the other tower. Jim, is now a very serious fire on the uh, south tower of the World Trade Center. This is about, I would estimate, about the 60th or perhaps the 70th floor of the tower, right on the corner, the uh, northeast corner of the south tower, uh, flames shooting out of the building. Uh, we have absolutely no reports of uh, who was in there, but you've got to believe that being around the 9 o'clock hour that people... Uh, we're just uh, sitting, sitting down for a day's work uh, in those buildings. Okay. Uh, Jim, I was just uh, thinking mm. that the, if I'm not mistaken, uh, remember several years ago, uh, Mayor Giuliani moved the emergency management office uh, to uh, one of the higher, uh, to the 30th floor or around that area of one of the towers of the World Trade Center, and that's indeed the brain of all the emergency management mm. activity. And now, I, I believe though that's in one of the other towers. Yeah. Ollie, can you talk to that? Uh, Ollie, can you hear me? I hear you, Jim. Uh, uh, Dave brought up the point that the mayor's uh, emergency management office, the so-called bunker, is in one of the towers of the World Trade Center, but I b don't believe it's one of the two top ones. No, it's not. It's about the 30th floor. It is not, not up there. And by the way, for those who are wondering about the structure itself, the, uh, both towers appear to be structurally sound. They're not only small pieces of debris uh, uh, circulating in the air uh, around, the, around the, where the explosions occur. The buildings that themselves uh, seem to be intact intact as far as their structure is concerned. There have been talk over the years uh, about, about the threat of terrorism uh, fall, uh, making the, uh, the buildings fall down uh, onto the streets. But I can reassure everybody that they seem to be holding up uh, fairly well while uh, efforts are going forward to fight the fires and, the, uh, and whatever happened uh, in those uh, two, two, two towers. Now we can see uh, smoke uh, emanating from many of the floors of the, uh, of the two towers. We uh, see to the left of your picture there, uh, smoke coming out of uh, the floors above where the plane crashed uh, into, uh, I believe that's the, uh, uh, the north tower that we're looking at there. Thousands yes. of people gathered where I am here at City Hall Park, in front of City Hall, uh, just watching what's going on. Uh, it's uh, very difficult to, they, they come by and they say, what happened, what happened? And you just got to say, something hit the building, and then something hit both buildings. Well, we, uh, we, we saw clearly, uh, we didn't see the first one, but we saw clearly mm. that a plane uh, deliberately crashed mm. into the, one of the upper floors of the World Trade Center. That was the second plane. So two planes. Mm. Uh, crashed into the uh, upper floors of each of the World Trade Center towers. And I'm just, uh, I understand now that uh, Port Authority headquarters are in uh, one yeah. of those buildings somewhere near that location. Uh, Jim, I, I yes. don't know whether we've confirmed that this was an aircraft or to be more specific. Some people said they thought they saw a missile. Well, I don't know how people could dis dis differentiate, but we might mm. keep open the possibility that this was a missile attack mm. uh, on these buildings. Uh, Ali, I must say that uh, we have an eyewitness who said it was a large plane that crashed first. And then uh -huh. as, as we were watching the live picture here in the studio, we saw a plane mm. crash, into the, crash into the other tower of the World Trade Center. And again, let's uh, just 
to be sure. Th there oh, it is. Oh. There it is. The plane mm. went right through mm. the other tower of the World Trade Center. That is a very hard thing to watch. And clearly, mm. clearly untold carnage must be the result of those uh, uh, suicide terrorist activities. That was a large, a large commercial plane. Was a jet. The, the, the gentleman, the Jim Friedel, the uh, gentleman from Hoboken who was watching, said the first one looked to him like a 727. Like a 727. Well, but look at the wingspan, the swath it cut through the towers. Yeah. Yeah, lots of speculation, no doubt. And for years, we have been talking about security from terrorists here in this major city. It makes you wonder how, if it indeed were two planes, we did see one. How did they manage to get into the area and, and to, to you just wonder, hit the these, plane uh, like that? These are all they the things the that we're going to have to be. They're going to have to be answered. How could uh, how could two mm. uh, large planes uh, just that quickly uh, get out of uh, out of uh, control from our local uh, presumably yes. commercial aircraft and now we can't speak to the first one mm. but that second aircraft that went through looked like a large twin engine or three engine mm. jet those are simply not around for private aviation yeah that's not your piper cub no it is mm. not that's obviously mm. designed to do considerable damage uh, to those buildings on this day when we're holding a primary election mm. in New York City. Now, Jim, I would imagine... Jim, what, uh, Ollie? Jim, what you're saying uh, could, could be a drone aircraft. That's an aircraft that's uh, uh, guided electronically uh, to its target without having a pilot. Now, that is a possibility as well. In the meantime, I can tell you the flames are shooting out of both towers now. Uh, the heaviest being on the South Tower, the northeast corner of the South Tower uh, of the World Trade Center. But there's a considerable blaze going on in the North Tower as well. Oh. Yeah, I wonder if there's any way of finding out exactly what is located on those upper floors. You'd like to just cross your fingers and pray to God that maybe there weren't and, uh, yeah, a there lot of people up there State at that office time. buildings yeah. and, of course, uh, lots of commercial uh. office buildings uh, on those spaces as well. I know uh, during the last terrorist attack on the mm. World Trade Center, uh, my son was in the building, mm. and mm. Uh, he told stories of, of, of groping down through these staircases yes. for some 50 floors mm. before he, thank God, got out safely. Mm. In fact, the governor has an office in the mm. uh, World Trade Center as well. Uh, the, the, there is one thing. After the bombing of the World mm. Trade Center in, in the 90s, I do know that there were major efforts to have disaster drills, to have a mm -hmm. preparedness plan in the event uh, of an awful tragedy like this. But one has to wonder how with two gigantic skyscrapers mm -hmm. burning, uh, the fire department and emergency services can handle both in that confined space uh, without a tremendous No matter toll. how much you set in can place, how much you try to prepare for, until it actually happens, it's just not the same thing. Again, you're looking at a live picture of the World Trade Center, where uh, shortly before nine o'clock, shortly before nine o'clock this morning, and then shortly after nine o'clock, uh, planes apparently deliberately crashed into the uh, buildings. Mm -hmm. Alani Devito, are you there? Alani Devito, are you there? I understand we have uh, another eyewitness uh, uh, to this catastrophe. Uh, Lonnie DeVito, are you there? Uh, apparently, uh, we lost Lonnie, but again... This may be confusing to some people, because in a sense, it is a little confusing to me. We, every now and then, see what looks like, I don't know if it's the bottom of a chopper that is swinging back and forth. Oh, that, would is be, that? that would be our... That our, is ours. That would be okay. uh, the, uh, the rudders mm -hmm. from, uh, from our chopper I see. every once in a while. Right. Hey, the, Jim. Lonnie DeVito, I, are you there? I am here. Can you hear me? Yes, I can, Lonnie. Thank Hi. you. This is Jim Ryan in the in the studio. Can you tell us what you heard and saw when the when the um, blast took place? Right now, I was actually talking my, to talking to my brother on the phone about what happened. I I was on my roof and I saw something. From where I am, I really can't see what it is. I saw something go into into the other building because from where I am, I could see the World Trade Center. I co I run downstairs and I see on the news that it, it looks like another fighter jet is what it looks like. 
and from my house, I could see all the smoke that's into into Diker Heights. I could see all of that. It's ridiculous. I can't believe all of this is happening, honestly. You say you're in Di Diker Heights, uh, yes. Lonnie? Yes. Okay. And could you hear the blast from where you were? No, I couldn't hear the blast, but I, I saw something, and it didn't look pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly how I can I can't explain it in any other way. I'm in shock right now. All right, Lonnie. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, so, uh, obviously, uh, visible, but not audible from, uh, mm. from uh, way out in Diker Heights. Uh, hey, Jim? Yes, Ali. They appear to be getting water on uh, on this fire. If you can see the uh, the south tower, the uh, black smoke is getting progressively lighter. This indicates steam, which indicates that uh, fire authorities are getting water on the flames. In the meantime, flames are still spitting out from uh, from both towers. Uh, now, uh, while the while the whatever hit the building crashed in the north side of the north tower, we see flames coming out of the east side.